What is going on guys, Dwan Bian here and in today's video I'm going to go through and review my top picks of electrolyte supplements to help you pick what's best for you. Alright, let's get started. All right, so first up, we've got Staminade. Now, Staminade is a really, really good product. I've used it from time to time. It's helped me a lot in my organ pipes video, and it'll definitely help me a lot in all my upcoming challenges that I may possibly do. So with Staminade, it's an Australian family-owned company, and they provide three different flavors. The first flavor being lemon-lime. Now, for your Aussies out there, it's available in both Coles and Woolworths. Now the orange one is the only one to contain 25% less sugar, sweetened by sucrose, but it also contains vitamin C. Now moving on to my favorite flavor, which is the wild berry flavor. Now this one's exclusive to Woolworths, whereas this orange flavor is actually exclusive to Coles. Now in regards to the nutritional information, one scoop mixed in with 250 mils of water, so a cup, is about 60 calories. What I like to do, I use an 800 ml bottle and I put about four scoops to taste. So four scoops for me turns to be about 240 calories. That's 240 calories, which I can use elsewhere when I'm cutting. So that's why I probably don't decide to use this too much on a cutting phase, but it's still really good when I know I'm doing strenuous activity of some sort. When I can afford a couple extra hundred calories, I'll definitely be sure to like add this into my diet. So in regards to the electrolyte serving, the lime and the raspberry both contain 42 milligrams of sodium, 43 milligrams of potassium and eight milligrams of magnesium. When we compare that with the orange flavor, there's a lot more sodium contained in this one, 120 milligrams compared to 42 milligrams in these two. Other than the salt, the serving of potassium and magnesium are pretty much the same. Now let's talk about the pricing. Now all three tubs, cost the exact same. They retail for $10.50 at both Coles and Woolworths. It just works out to about $1.71 per 100 grams. Now let's weigh up some pros and cons. I'd say some pros would be that the flavor, it actually tastes really good, no matter which flavor you choose. The red one is my favorite. And I'd say this would probably be more geared towards athletes, people that, you know, can afford probably an extra calories. Like if you're bodybuilding and you're watching and you're counting your calories, you know, it may not be the best option for you, though if you do want to incorporate it inside your calories and macros, I mean, by all means, go ahead. Now this product is really good because it states that they're one of the only products that actually contain magnesium in their formula, which actually a lot of other sports drinks do not. So the benefits of these, it contains the sugar, the glucose for energy. So when you're playing sport and you really just need extra energy to perform at a high level, this really helps. From the perspective of reducing cramps, it does serve a decent amount of electrolytes. Now some cons to Staminade would be that, well, the serving of electrolytes compared to say, the fasting salts, which I'll get into later in the video, it's not as much. So if you're someone who sweats a lot or needs a lot more electrolytes, then you may need to compensate with extra scoops, meaning more calories. So another con may be that it, it just could be really hard to incorporate in your diet, right? So let's just say that you mix in four scoops into 800 ml water bottle, and then you down that in maybe an hour of training, then you may not be as satiated as you would with 200 calories of a nice high volume snack. You see where I'm going with this? So that's Staminade wrapped up. Overall, it's a really good product, better than its competitors out there since it contains magnesium in its formula. So from an athlete's point of view, it's a really good product to look at, especially if you're from Australia. Now, if you're from other parts of the world, I would look at other alternatives. I'll say Powerade and Gatorade may be decent alternatives. Rightio. So next up, you guessed it, Powerade. Now, in regards to Powerade, right, I haven't actually used it a lot myself, only because I've chosen to use Staminate over the Powerade, but 
Seeing as though Powerade may not be available in other countries other than Australia, it's a decent choice. But upon further review, after I bought this product, I did a little bit of research and I actually found out that its Gatorade counterpart is actually more beneficial than Powerade. I was doing a bit of a deep dive. I was taking a look at some of its ingredients in here. And you know, it's got its energy. It's got about 60 calories per serving, which you know, is essentially the same as Staminade. But then I was looking and I was trying to find So it does have potassium. All right, well, the online jibbed me, <laughs> all right? I was trying to find some potassium. I'm like, it's only got sodium in there. And then on this bottle, it says it's got potassium. It doesn't have magnesium. So Staminade's right. That's why I choose to use Staminade because yes, it is actually cheaper because, right, it's $11.85 for eight liters. Staminade makes nine liters. Essentially, it doesn't contain magnesium, which, you know, if you're someone who takes a magnesium supplement every day, you know, you may not need to worry too much. You could probably still get away with this. And the Gatorade alternative is pretty much the same. Online, I was doing some research before this video and I couldn't see how much potassium it had. And I was like really trying to like figure some stuff out. I couldn't find that, but I thought Gatorade was the only one that had it. And I was like, ha ha. But they both contain potassium, they both contain sodium, which are two of the three main electrolytes. It also comes in two different flavors. Mountain Blast, which is the blue flavor. It's got the red equivalent flavor. Berry Ice. It's a good alternative. If you can't get Staminade or you can't find a sports drink tub powder that contains all three, potassium, magnesium, and sodium, then most sports drinks powders, they actually contain sodium and potassium. So then you'd have to just really just buy a magnesium supplement and you'll be rehydrating your body. So that is the Powerade review done. Now, moving on to the next one. So next up, we've got the Hydrolyte Effer, Effervescent, Effervescent. The Hydrolyte Effervescent. Hydrolyte Effervescent. I'm an anemone. You guys seen Finding Nemo? And Nemonemonemone? <laughs> this is literally the same thing. The Hydrolyte Effervescent Tablet. Forgive me, right? These are actually a pretty decent alternative. First of all, I've used these from time to time and you know, they actually taste all right. And it actually doesn't come with the calorie costs such as Staminade. When it comes to Hydrolyte, they actually come in two different types and they have a couple different flavors in each type. You've got just the basic Hydrolyte. Now, these are more aimed for like, you know, when you're sick and you're vomiting, sometimes you might lose electrolytes. You know, upon further inspection, I found out that there's just electrolytes and, you know, they help replenish your body. So it's nothing bad. And then they've also got a Hydrolyte sports option, more geared towards, you know, sports athletes. So the Hydrolyte, it comes in three different flavors. There's an apple black currant, an orange and a lime flavor. But we've got the Hydrolyte sports option. Now the Hydrolyte sports option, only comes in this berry flavor. Yeah, so in regards to the value, I'm just gonna pretend this is the 10 Hydrolyte pack instead of the 40. For a pack of 10 normal Hydrolytes, it's about $5.60, works out to about 56 cents per tablet. And then a pack of 20 tablets, this is the only one they offer in the sports version. It works out to about $6.50. But essentially when taking these tablets, it actually says to dissolve two tablets per 200 mils of water. Right. So to put it into perspective for you guys, there's 20 tablets in this packet and you dissolve two tablets per serving and you know, you work that out, that's actually equivalent to about two liters worth of electrolyte drinks. Compared to some of the tubs that I've mentioned, they make about eight to nine liters. So there's something to consider. In relation to the nutritional information of the Hydrolyze Sports, it actually contains 1.9 grams of glucose, 102.28 milligrams of sodium, 58.8 milligrams of potassium, 4.83 milligrams of magnesium, 8 milligrams of calcium, 200 micrograms of zinc, 100 micrograms of iron, 30 micrograms of copper, and 50 micrograms of manganese. When looking at this, there's a couple of warnings when taking this just to be aware of. If you have any kidney diseases or taking any heart or blood pressure medicine, consult your doctor or pharmacist before you do use it. If you're someone who's not that active, not really using that much sweat, probably something that's unneeded. But it's really good not only just for someone who may be sick or deficient in electrolytes, but it's actually really good 
for someone who's you know doing really vigorous activity but then yes you've got the pricing to also consider so with the normal hydrolyte obviously it it contains just sodium and the potassium much as the powerade does so if you're taking your magnesium tablets then you know taking something like this if this is something that interests you is something to consider but if i had to choose i'd much rather go get the hydrolyte sports knowing that i'm getting a whole bunch more ingredients and nutrition from this just compared to that all right so let's move on next one is fasting salts this is what i use daily essentially just pure pure electrolytes sodium potassium magnesium in a raw powder form i use this especially to keep up my electrolytes because i'm cutting down and i'm doing cardio every day when we actually take a look at the actual serving size the amount of electrolytes you actually get per scoop this is heavily heavily concentrated now provided this is actually meant for people who obviously are fasting, right? If you're fasting, you're doing extended prolonged fasting over a few days. Electrolytes, it's got no calories in there. You know, you need to give your body something, you know, or else you're gonna cramp up just drinking all this water and, you know, not eating anything. Obviously, you know, you gotta keep up your electrolytes. Per scoop, which is about five grams, right? It's got about 1,283 milligrams of sodium, 625 milligrams of potassium, and 75 milligrams of magnesium. Essentially, one scoop is like all you need. And sometimes, you know, I'll be a little real with you guys, you know, sometimes, you know, when I take a bit too much or sometimes my body doesn't need, I don't lose as much electrolytes and I'll take some just to be safe. You know, it can cause a little bit of the runs, a bit of diarrhea, but look, at the end of the day, that's fine because at least I know I'm hydrated and a bit of diarrhea is better, in my opinion, than a really excruciating painful cramp, right? Some people may not like the flavor. It just like mixing in, it just tastes like mixing in a bunch of salt and water, it tastes like salt water. It takes a while to get used to, but if you use maybe even half a scoop or about one scoop sometimes, to me, it tastes a bit like foggy water. Like it doesn't actually taste salty but i actually prefer it tasting salty than a bit like foggy murky water it, it's weird but when you guys try it you'll actually understand the price you can only order them online um they haven't made it to retail stalls yet in australia it's 39 dollars and 66 cents right and then you pay for shipping which is about five dollars and 94 so it brings it to a total of 45 dollars and 60 cents for one bottle but you kind of get what you pay for. You get pure electrolytes, refined. This is really good. Genuinely a good product that I like to use. Last but not least, guys, I just wanted to give a few honorable mentions to some things I found when purchasing these electrolyte supplements. These two drinks, I think, deserve an honorable mention. On one side, we've got a Maximus Ultra. And on the other side, we've got a Coles sports drink. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking like, what, Coles make a sports drink now? I'm like, yeah, they do. I'm looking at the back of this thing and you know, it's got all three electrolytes. Yes, it's got magnesium in there. And then on top of that, it's also got calcium, which is another electrolyte, you know, for about 177 calories. And it retails for only a dollar and 85 cents. I genuinely would recommend this if one time passing by the gym and you just want to get a drink or you're looking for something and you can spare 170 calories, this is actually a pretty good option. On the other hand, we've got a Maximus Ultra. When you take a look at the back of this thing, right, it's got pretty much everything this has got. It's got the calcium, it's got magnesium, right? But this has added branch chain amino acids. So, you know, it's got leucine, isoline, valine, B3, B6, and vitamin B12. $3.20 at Coles. So, you know, it's a little bit more expensive, but, you know, in saying that, you get a bit of branch chain amino acids in there as well. So, just wanted to have a few honorable mentions in there. You might think that these are a really good option, and you may be wondering why these are only just honorable mentions, but essentially the reason why is the value factor. You look at the tubs and how much they make. We'll take, say, Stabinade, for example, $10 and makes you nine liters. $1.85 is really cheap and you think, oh, it's only a dollar. You kind of disregard the 85 cents, right? But it adds up when you try and make the same amount for $10, right? You won't be able to make as much as you would. With the tubs, right, 
you can just mix it to your taste liking. You can add two scoops in there. You can add one scoop, you know, so with something like this, you are kind of limited. This is only 177 calories, right? You can't change that. But with the scoops, if you can only afford one scoop for the calories that you need, then you only put in one scoop. Essentially, these are good for every now and then, you know, when you can afford 170 calories and, you know, you finish your gym sesh and you wanna chuck down a drink, by all means, go for it. So there you have it, guys. Those are my top picks and recommendations for the best electrolyte supplements. Now, here on my left is the best electrolyte sports powder that I recommend, which is the Staminate option. And then here on my right, I've got the non-calorie version for those, you know, that are still wanting to keep in their electrolytes, make sure that they don't cramp up as much. I've got the Hydrolyte Sports option and I've got the Fasting Salts, which are both something that I highly recommend. So I also wanted to let you know, guys, that I'm actually in no way sponsored or affiliated with any of these products that I've mentioned in this video. So that brings us to the end of today's video. Please, if you like this video, please remember to smash that like button, comment down your thoughts down below, and if you like, please consider subscribing and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. We've got the orange flavor, which is actually 25% reduced sugar, less calories, it's sweetened by sucralose, and you've got, we've also got this orange flavor, which is 25% reduced sugar. It's sweetened by vitamin C and all, <laughs> I just said sweetened by vitamin you know, let's say you put four scoops into 800 mils of water, then, you know, once you finish that, that's 200 scoops. <laughs> ah! Rolling. Do, do like, like a really big one, otherwise, what's slow motion for?